like I said, we do not own very much stuff and it's very, very intentional that way. Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor, welcome to my house, to my home. It's a little echoey in this room. You can't really tell until you start speaking loudly and like make a YouTube video that's a bit echoey, but uh, today I wanted to show you my apartment, my minimalist apartment that I share with Brittany Taylor. I've made a few of these videos in the past. I'm gonna do my best with just showing you around, try to keep it one take, so I'm not gonna cut the video at all. I'll speak very briefly about some points that I wanna make. I'm not gonna open up every single cabinet because that would take all day. But if you like the video, you can let me know and I can show you more in-depth areas like the bathroom and the kitchen in other videos. So let's take a peek at this one bedroom, one bath apartment here in Austin, Texas. This is the front door. You would enter into this space. Down here we have our acromat set up where we basically just lounge. Brittany's got her computer over here to do some office work and that kind of thing. We both tend to sit on this mat in the morning and do some business stuff. Sometimes we'll pull out a pillow or something like that. And we also have our little exercise corner over here. We've got our handstand blocks, a few different handstand instruments, some rubber bands for stretching, uh, acromat handstand board, a roller for your back, that kind of thing. We also have a nice board over here that we hung up that you can write on. Got handstand bar up here. Handstand bar, pull-up bar. Pull-up bar here, we do a lot of workouts on that bar. Coming into the kitchen, it's a little quieter in here, sorry about that echoing. Uh, like I said, I won't open up everything, I'll just kind of briefly show you around. We have a little compost bin over here that we take out pretty much every day and find somewhere cool in the world to dump it. Really love having this tea kettle. I don't know, it's just, I know you can warm it up right on the stove, but it's just so much easier. It's made life like mwah, that much better. Some spice things up here. We've got a bunch of food in the cabinets, all kinds of stuff in the cabinets, but not like an insane amount, but it could be a cool thing to show you in a future video. Uh, this is pretty much the kitchen. As you can see, we like to keep things really nice and simple. The kitchen's kind of elongated, so back here, we kind of designated this space for mostly my art stuff. And uh, Brittany is absolutely welcome back here. Brittany, you can come back here anytime, anytime you want. But it was just like, we know that sometimes when I do art, I like to spread out and make it kind of messy. And so it's kind of a nice thing to have a work table that I can just put all of my stuff on, get totally messy and creative when I want to. We also both share the keyboard um, I've got, you know, one chair in the house. That's all we have for furniture for the most part. Uh, just like a tool that's charging back here. Some spray paint, that's also for artwork. A Little bit of stuff under the table, that's for artwork. I also do some computer work here. Sometimes I stand up and do computer work, set up some boxes and stuff like that. Sometimes I sit down. Uh, yeah, so that's the kitchen. And then back here, this is the back door uh, exit. Just show you back here real quick. I might have to turn this down a little bit as we go outside, adjust the light a little. Here we go. It's a small space back here. Mostly just housing the bicycles. Turn this back down as we re-enter. Okay, so that was the back. Basically just houses uh, the bicycles. Sometimes I go out there and get naked and stand in the sun. So that's actually a really sweet spot to have. Just like a little little corner of the universe where I can get naked and uh, enjoy the sunlight. I think it's super important to get sun on our entire bodies, especially our genitals. Really, really good for you. Uh, so let's go into the bathroom. Right now we've got a salt lamp on in here. It's also just one of those things that you don't have to have, but it's just, it makes life so pretty. I love having this thing. It's a new investment, a new thing in our life, and it's we really love it. So it's a nice clean bathroom. We just got a few, few like, you know, morning routine, everyday essential oils, that kind of thing in here. We really don't have anything in the cabinets. I mean, very few things. You can see the shower. Also, nothing really in here. We've got 
some of like one product from the organics which um you know if we happen to have like greasy hands or something like that we'll use but otherwise we don't use any any products on our hair skin nails we do use some products on our teeth and i will definitely make an updated video on that um and then we have this little hanging kit that we bring with us everywhere it's got like our toothpaste toothbrush some flossers some other essentials in there two towels we do our own three towels total but that's it and i did want to mention that this is like essentially what you see is is how it is all the time let me crack this shade open so I can get a little more light in here. But like really the only thing that I did was kind of just straighten up a little bit. Um, we really like to keep our living situations clean, manageable, pretty. And you know, they're super simple. We don't have a lot of stuff, very intentionally so. We, yeah, we're just really mindful about not overcrowding our space. And uh, because of that, it's really easy to keep things nice and clean. So this is the bedroom. As I said, this is a one bedroom, one bath apartment. There's our beautiful bed on the floor. I know that floor sleeping is not for everybody, but it really suits us and it is our choice. And it's one of those things again that uh, we don't spend money on a big bed and we don't have the hassle of moving a big bed every time we move. This is a mat that just rolls up and gets tied and is about, you know, something I could hold in my arms. And that's really it. There's a really nice comforter on here. We've got our two pillows. Monkey, you know, you gotta have one of those. Uh, this is Brittany's side of the bed. She's reading some books right now. She's got a, a little light, her thermometer to track her cycle, and um, an eye mask. And then on my side of the bed, I tend to keep my fanny pack over here, which has all, all my kind of essential things, like my wallet, my keys, my phone some chargers that kind of thing i'm reading a book i also use this little thing for my eyes i just they're basically just a pair of long underwear i cover my eyes up with there's one of these like neck pillows you know for the plane that sometimes one one of us uses that's quite comfortable and i think i've also got a journal over there somewhere so come on into the closet real quick this is pretty much so yeah everything that you're seeing right now is everything that we own like i said there are some things in those kitchen cabinets that uh, like a really small dehydrator there's a vitamix there's some other things like that so it might be cool to make a video about that if you want to see that video definitely let me know in the comments in here we got a couple of youtube lights you know to make our faces pretty especially at nighttime if we want to record videos they're really helpful to have these are all of our clothes that you can see here folded up and some hanging that's it those, those are all of them we both own like i own a suit Brittany owns a dress and those are hanging up in winnie um there might be a couple of other jackets like winter clothes in there but that's really it i've got some bicycle paneers up here a box <laughs> some more boxes for some shipping that we were gonna do some books over here a uh, heating pad yeah some items oh actually it looks like my suit's actually in here so yeah we really i mean like i said we do not own very much stuff and it's very very intentional that way we've got this one other closet let's see what, what do we got in here oh wow our sex toys uh some boxes some some rope scale drill little thing of electronics Oh shoot, I forgot to show you my Kirby. <sighs> this is probably like the biggest not minimalist thing that I own. And I say I because I'm the one who bought it because I freaking love Kirby vacuums. But seriously, it, it makes like vacuuming up this place a five minute job. And it, and it does such a good job. I got it for a hundred bucks. They're normally like $1,500. So I got it for a hundred bucks on eBay. Super happy about that. I don't know what else to show you really. I mean, I wanted to make just a quick video, lifestyle type video. Definitely this falls in the minimalist category, but I think, I think, you know, everybody does their thing differently and it's just interesting to see how other people are living life. This is how Brittany and I are living life here in Austin, Texas. We got this place on Airbnb 
we love it, we're gonna be here two and a half months, then we're leaving for two months, and then we locked in a deal with these guys to come back for a 10 month lease, and we got a really good deal on it. I know everybody wants to know how much everybody's paying for things, and I have no problem with that. We're gonna be paying $1,000 for this space. It's about 1100 right now, and includes all the utilities. When we come back, it'll be just under $1,000, and we'll have to pay our own electricity and water, so yeah, it might go up to 1100 but I, I kinda doubt it. It'll probably be a little bit less than that. And for Austin, particularly for the location, we're only 10 minutes to Barton Springs. Uh, we're just like down the road from a big grocery store, ton of coffee shops all around us, lots of beautiful places to hike. This is a really good deal. It's a very clean space. Uh, some things are a little dated, maybe need a little bit of updating, but for the most part, it was recently refreshed, if not renovated, so that feels good. And yeah, we just, we're super happy. We're like, you know, it's pretty easy to make us happy, but we also do demand a certain level of quality, and for the price and the location, we really love this place. We think that we scored. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see that kitchen video, if you wanna see a more in-depth bathroom video, you let me know because I'm not gonna make videos if you're not gonna watch them. I really want this to be like, we're all involved here. So, interact. Mwah! Much love, take care, bye-bye.